let us get started with the new session on computers. You have this computer. One of the major challenge is how to give input and how to give output. So if I say this is the input, okay, this is input, this is output. So how do I give input? Nowadays you have got a keyboard, then you also have the monitor. The monitor is the current day's output mode or printer. But these are recent. If you go back to uh, a few decades, how to give input, it was a major challenge. So people first started with something called punched cards. The card will look like this. There will be some portion which is cut like this. This is called punched card. What people used to do with this? In this, there will be 80 columns. Then you have to punch some holes like this. There is a separate machine to do the punching. One card will translate to one line of instruction. So you have to give the instructions and data to the computer. So they used to have one card per line and the card will have a serial number and you may have X number of cards stacked. So a stack of cards is being used as the input. So this will be the primary input for the computer. But stacking the card like manuscript palm leaves, it was very difficult. So people invented something called punched paper tape. You have a long tape. So this is tape. In this tape, if you take a strip, maybe for say half a centimeter, something like this, what you punch in one card, this will be punched over here. Okay. So what people punch, there is a question from one of the audience. There is a notation called ASCII, American Standard Code Information Interchange. This ASCII code is nothing but 8 by bit code. Okay. Then you can say, I think it's a 8 bytes. So what happens is the one line, whatever you are giving, each character, uh, it is actually 8 bits equal to, I would say 8 bit equal to 1 byte. Each character like uh, A, B, uh, etc. Translate to some binary stream. When you say binary stream, it will be in terms of 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, something like this. So they give a notation of every character, alphabets, alphabet, numbers, then punctuations. So you translate all these things into 8 bit equal to 1 byte. So A will translate to something in terms of 1s and zeros. B will translate to 1s and zeros. They punch those holes like this. There will be a magnetic surface at the bottom and then there will be a conducting material at the top. It will go through like pretty much like our uh, cassette in today's context. So the input will be given through tape. Output will also come through tape. 
in terms of uh, paper tapes, not magnetic tapes, paper tapes. This was going on. Then from paper tape, it moved to magnetic tape. Because paper tape also has its own problems, like uh, getting scratched or it may be torn. There's a problem in magnetic, uh, in paper tapes. Whereas in magnetic tapes, the same information, the ASCII notation of every information will be stored in terms of ones and zero. The magnetic material, if charged, then it will be treated as on, it will be treated as one. No charge, it will be treated as off, it will be treated as zero. So using this one and zero, they used to convert all the character notation to ASCII notation, store it in tape. So feed the tape as input, get the output through the tape. This was going on for a long time. Then it was very difficult for people to have tapes and always feed through tapes. Then came the keyboard. Keyboard as input device. This is one of the major part. So people felt easy to give input to the computer. And then we got something called CRT monitors. When the electronic uh, inventions were on, the TV kind of cathode ray terminals, CRT, those monitors, usually the green monitors came. So the CRT monitors came as output. So you can see the you can see the output through the monitor like a TV screen and you can give the input through keyboard. These two made hell a lot of change in the evolution of computers. This was going on for quite a long time. Then the input information and the output information started slowly changing, especially more than the input more than the output I would say, input. The input made a lot of change. 